These strange and unusual finds challenge our assumptions about the world, leaving us with more questions than answers. From mysterious rituals to ancient coffins with unknown origins, this video will explore some of the most perplexing finds that have left scientists baffled. Number 10. Mummified Mermaid Researchers in Japan are investigating the origins of a 300-year-old mummified mermaid, which has been worshipped for centuries due to its purported medicinal properties. This nightmarish figure, believed to be a gruesome amalgam of a monkey's torso sewn onto a fishtail, is further speculated to have hair and nails from a human added to it. The mysterious origin of the 12-inch or 30.5 centimeters mermaid mummy found in a box at a temple at Okaya Prefecture has been a source of speculation for centuries. According to a note left inside the box, a fisherman reportedly caught the mummy between 1736 and 1741 and sold it to an affluent family. The mummy was first brought to light after an encyclopedia of mythical creatures featured a picture of the bizarre specimen. To this day, researchers remain uncertain as to how the mermaid ended up in the temple. This little mermaid somewhat resembles two mythical creatures from Japanese folklore. Amabees, mermaids with beaks instead of mouths and three distinct tail fins, and ningyos, which are fish-like creatures with human heads. Both of these types of creatures have been associated with stories of miraculous health cures and increased longevity. In one famous tale, Yao Bikuni, a woman, is said to have lived for 800 years after accidentally eating an entire ningyo. Number 9. Atacama Mummy The Atacama alien mummy, also known as Atta, is a mysterious specimen found in the Atacama Desert in Chile in 2003. The mummified remains are believed to be of extraterrestrial origin and have been the subject of controversy and conspiracy theories ever since. Atta was first discovered in 2003 by an amateur collector exploring a ghost town who came across a white cloth in a leather pouch. Unwrapping it, he found a 6-inch long skeleton with an elongated skull and a few bones. It had 10 ribs instead of the normal 12, and its bones were much stronger than usual for a human baby of its age. For years, people believed that Atta was an extraterrestrial being due to the fact that 8% of her DNA did not match that of a human. In 2018, however, scientists debunked this theory with further analysis, revealing that Atta was in fact the remains of a baby girl with multiple genetic conditions. Despite its mysterious origins, the Atacama alien mummy remains an enigma and a source of fascination for many. Number 8. Unicorn Skull for decades, scientists had assumed that the Siberian unicorn, a long-extinct species of mammal that had a rhinoceros-like appearance rather than a horse-like one, had become extinct around 350,000 years ago. However, a remarkably well-preserved skull that was discovered by a TikTok account holder challenged that idea. According to early descriptions, the Siberian unicorn was an imposing creature, standing at approximately 2 meters tall and measuring 4.5 meters long and weighing 4 tons, much larger than a horse. It was likely a grazer though, with a diet consisting mainly of grass. To get a better image in your head, imagine a woolly rhinoceros with a long, slender horn jutting out of its face, as opposed to the shorter, stubbier horns of modern rhinos. The unearthed unicorn skull has sparked the imaginations of mythical creature enthusiasts. Even in death and extinction, it still retains its majestic grandeur. Number 7. Yeti Hand and Scalp Pang Bosch, a small village monastery located in the northeast of Nepal, claims to have a 300-year-old yeti scalp. According to members of the Pang Bosch Monastery in Tibet, the legendary Lama Sangwa Dorje once entered a cave to meditate. During his stay, a yeti, an elusive creature of the Himalayan wilderness, brought him food, water, and fuel, and eventually became his Buddhist disciple. When the yeti died, Sangwa collected the hand and scalp of the creature and took them back to the monastery. These precious artifacts have been stolen a few times throughout history. In 1957, oil businessman and adventurer Tom Slick heard accounts of the possible existence of a yeti hand held as a ritual artifact in the monastery at Pangbosh. Slick's expeditions were the first to bring photographs of the hand back to the West. 
A member of Slick's expedition, Peter Byrne, reportedly stole pieces of the artifact after the monks who owned it refused to allow its removal for study. Byrne stated that he was shown what looked to be a large mummified primate hand. To cover his theft, Byrne claimed to have replaced the stolen bone fragments with human bones. In 1991, Coleman's research, in conjunction with that of American anthropologist George Agagino, uncovered a sample of an alleged Yeti hand. Later, NBC's Unsolved Mysteries program acquired the specimen and determined that it was like human tissue, though not human. Number 6. Giant Footprint Giant footprints located approximately 300 kilometers east of Johannesburg have been discovered in a remote area. Measuring approximately 1.2 meters from toe to heel, it is etched into the exposed surface of a granite outcropping. The print is oriented vertically and is estimated to have been made by a giant of 7 to 7.5 meters in height. The print is said to be 200 million years old and was first discovered by a hunter who named it the Footprint of God. Scientists and experts have been baffled by the occurrence, but the locals have long believed it to be the print of some mythical being from the distant past. Some experts argue that the mark is caused by natural rock erosion, but its distinct foot shape makes it difficult for people to accept the argument. Number 5. The Skeleton Lake Rupkund Lake, also known as Skeleton Lake, is a mysterious glacial lake located in the imposing Himalayan mountains in Uttarakhand, India. It lies at an altitude of 16,500 feet above sea level and is surrounded by magnificent snow-capped peaks of the Trishul Massif. This stunning lake is also home to an eerie discovery. Almost 600 to 800 human remains have been found at the bottom of the lake. The skeletons are believed to be from the 9th century AD, when many people died in a catastrophic event here. The exact cause of death is still unknown, though theories range from extreme weather conditions to epidemics. What makes Skeleton Lake even more fascinating is the fact that the skeletons are well preserved due to the extreme cold and dry conditions of the area. This has led to speculations that the lake is cursed or haunted by evil spirits. The lake has become a popular tourist destination in recent years, and trekkers from all over the world come here to experience the mystery and beauty of the lake. The lake is also an important pilgrimage site for both Hindus and Buddhists, who come here to pay their respects to the deceased. Number 4. Shigir Idol The Shigir Idol is a 12,500-year-old wooden sculpture that was discovered in a peat bog near the town of Yekaterinburg, Russia in 1890. It is considered to be the oldest known wooden sculpture in the world. The sculpture stands approximately 2.8 meters or 9.2 feet tall and is composed of 10 separate pieces of larch wood that have been joined together by wooden pegs. The Shigir Idol, which got its name from the bog it was found in close to Kirovograd, likely rested on a rock base for around two or three decades before it tumbled into a paleo lake that no longer exists. The peat's antimicrobial properties safeguarded the idol like a time capsule. In the mid-1800s, gold was found beneath the bog, and Count Alexei Stembok Fermor, the landowner, contracted workers to extract ore from the open-air site. He told them to keep any other items they unearthed. For more than a century, the Shigir Idol was considered a curiosity, assumed to be at most a few thousand years old. It is uncertain what the idol was originally created for. However, archaeologist Peter van Petersen of the National Museum of Denmark speculated that it could have been a warning to stay away from a dangerous area. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. In today's photo, we'll take a closer look at this mysterious mummy, which is strangely bound with its hands covering its mouth. Let's dig in. Number 3. Rope-Bound Mummy The discovery of a 1,200-year-old rope-bound mummy in an underground tomb in Peru has amazed archaeologists. The remarkable mummy was found at a dig site in Calla Marquia, east of Lima, the capital city of Peru. The skeletal remains are believed to be those of a man aged between 18 and 22 years old at the time of his death, with his hands placed in a position appearing to cover his face. Further studies revealed that this was not a form of punishment, but rather an ancient custom. Caretakers of the deceased would intentionally tie the corpse and place their hands over their mouth to protect the person from the horrors of the afterlife. While the reason and origin of this unusual practice have never been made clear even after years of research, it is thought to have been a common practice in ancient times. Number 2. Inca Mummy 
The mummy of La Doncella, or the maiden, is a teenage girl who died more than 500 years ago in a ritual sacrifice in the Andes Mountains. She was found in 1999 along with two other children who had been left on the top of a mountain as offerings to the gods, according to the archaeologist who discovered the mummified remains in Argentina. She was discovered wearing a ceremonial garment and adorned with a crown, symbols of her new role as a liaison between the human and divine worlds. She is one of the best preserved mummies ever discovered. Number 1. Miniature Coffins In late June 1836, a group of boys ventured to the hills of Arthur's Seat in Edinburgh in search of rabbits. What they encountered there has remained an enigma that has yet to be solved. The boys came across a hidden cave in a remote area to the northeast of the hill. It was blocked off by three tall slabs of slate, and inside were 17 tiny coffins. They were arranged under slates in three tiers, two tiers of eight and one solitary coffin on the top. Each coffin, measuring only 95 millimeters in length, contained a little wooden figure meticulously carved and dressed in custom-made clothing that had been carefully stitched and glued around them. The eight coffins on display in the National Museum of Scotland are an enigma. Their intricate carvings and mysterious origin in an ancient sepulcher make them one of the most intriguing objects in the museum. To this day, we are still left wondering who created the intricate carvings, what they represented, and why they were placed in the secret sepulcher. See you all next time!